Leo, this is your reading for 2023. We're going to go per quarter, two cards per quarter. Let's see what we've got going on for 2023. So we are talking about January through March right now. We've got the King of Swords with the Death card. So definitely some transformation, maybe getting back in shape, getting back to your passion, getting back to your goals and your visions. Um, I feel as though 2022 kind of tore us away from that a little bit. So definitely in the beginning of the year, definitely getting your boundaries back, finding finding your fight again is what I'm getting. Now, in the middle from April to June, we've got the Justice card and the Two of Pentacles. So I do feel like things are going to start to go your way. Things are going to come in for you. Now, with the Two of Pentacles, you might have to juggle a lot, especially if you're fighting for some kind of success, career, or love. So just expect to be busy during April through June. Now, we've got Nine of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles here for July through September. So this is kind of when you're building your nest egg is what I'm getting, but you might be a little bit on the defense. So be careful of who to trust around you at this time um, and just make sure that you have everything wrapped up and everything in its right place so that you can move forward and make sure that you're just protecting your assets, whether that be people, money, uh, success, whatever it is for you, just make sure that you are protecting your assets. Now for the end of the year, we've got, oh, I love it. We've got the Seven of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles. So this is telling me that there is recognition, promotion, and you're nurturing. So 2023, I feel, is your rebuilding year. This is the year that you are going to start to become very stable, um, put roots in the ground. Maybe you're buying a house. Maybe you're having children. Maybe you're getting married. But I definitely feel like 2023 is a new year, um, and in the sense of, we're wiping away everything from the past. We're taking everything that we learned and we're moving into 2023, ready to go, ready to be stable, ready to put good habits in place and ready to build our assets.